Hey everyone, welcome to Rabbit Mining. Rabbit here, and today I hope you everyone's doing pretty good out there, not catching that coronavirus. <laughs> but I'm gonna be looking at the power consumption of my two mining rigs I got in the other room. They are rig one is an RX 580 570 mixture, both with four and eight gig cards and rig two is a straight six card rx 570 all four gig we we'll see how much the system power is how much it actually consumes while mining and how much it consumes while idling with the fans on just ready to mine before it actually engages <laughs> so if it's something to like check out continue watching if not check out some of my other videos and if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and let's get on with this video all right, so here I just want to show you that I pulled out every riser out of the motherboard and in the back I actually pulled out all the PCI power connectors out of the power supply so we're only running our straight system. All right, so keep in mind my wattage recordings are pre-recorded so I could just stick them in so they're not going to match up the hive because I did not record hive while, uh, while they're, my, uh, everything was taken off here. But I did record all the power while we were doing it. So I'm just using this as we're mining right now as a background. But I'm averaging it out. Uh, just straight system is about 68 watts with the jumping. So I'm just going to go with 68. That's with two CPUs, two motherboards, two six of RAM. That's what my base two systems together is using is 68. All right, now and here we have is the system booted up into Hive. Everything plugged back in. And this is with our fan speed, which is what I usually mine at, of 55%. So we're not mining, but we're just sitting there, everything ready to go before we mine. We're sitting at about 684 watts with all the fans running on 12 GPUs. All right, so here we are currently. I'll pull it up, and it looks like we're pulling about 1414 is the number I'm going to kind of average it out to while we're mining. Doing about 367.6 mega hash. So 1414 watts total system. So if I do subtract my 68 system watts from it, that means my GPUs are pulling about 1346 watts. So divide that by 12 for an average. It's about 112 watts per card. And what is Hive telling us? A lot less. But that's why we don't go by system. And we know Polaris cards, they don't really give an accurate number but it's always best to go by your wall so you know what the power company is actually going to be charging you because then you can calculate it out these are my settings here for my 570 rig it's all 4 gig this one has a little different bios i think that's the msi gaming but it's just at 820 i cannot go any less or it'll crash same for all these i tried all these like 780 crash, 785 crash, crash, crash. <laughs> so 790 is as low as I can get on these, and 820 is as low as I can get on this guy. So I can maybe try some memory tuning, but not sure how much more that'll help us drop this. But I think we're sitting at decent for these cards anyway. Let me just we'll go over rig one here. Same type of ideal. A couple of these are hitting 790. Voltage on the core, got an 810, 810, 820, like before I cannot drop these any lower or we will just crash. Everything's doing at least 30 mega hash, which is good to see. And then uh, I'm just going to work out some numbers. 112 watts per card, so that's about 0 0.56, 0 0.59, but 0 0.56 mega hash uh, watt, which not 0.5, I'm thinking of RTX, RX 5600, uh, it's 0.28 or so, yeah, it's in the two, so that's low efficiency for these cars, but they are a lot older, but very cheap to get, now, I was actually talking to a guy who, after we all saw a Red Panda's video on getting 40 mega hash on a 5600 at like 70, 75 watts, and that was crazy high efficiency, and, uh, we were talking about it on Serpents, and then, uh, Red Panda actually found a BIOS mod for it, which even brings the mega hash up even more. And then I brought those numbers over to one of Serpent's stream, and then we all got in an arguing match in the comments there, <laughs> trying to figure out the right numbers. Cause, uh, and then I was actually talking to a guy in one of Panda's comments, and he managed to get 45 mega hash at 75 watts. 
Now that is like 0.6 mega hash per watt. Incredibly high and efficient. Like that's just crazy high. That's like higher than some ASICs. <laughs> it's nuts. But uh, we went into that. And but the thing is, he's he's monitoring not on his PSU. He has a monitored PSU. And I keep trying to get him to actually get the number from the wall, but he just won't do it. So I would love to try and test that for myself and see if those numbers are correct. Because that's just an amazing. It would take. That's what that would make Ethereum mining. That be the ultimate card to mine Ethereum on would be a 5600 XT. If you're getting 45 millihash for 75 watts, that's just insane. <laughs> so I don't know. What are you guys getting for numbers? Anyone have the 5600? I'd love to do it, but I can't afford to buy the card just to test it out that way. And if it is efficient. I'd love to make a bunch of rigs out of that card, but like I said, it all comes down to money and. I can't do that right now so let me know what you guys are getting you guys hitting those numbers because I would really like to know because I want to put a bottom T period dot line whatever it is on that to see exactly what is the efficiency of the 5600 XT anyway so these are my numbers my watts that my rig is using currently I plan on building more when I can not sure when that'll be yet though but thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button rabbit out